911, what's the address of your emergency? Where are you right now? I don't know. What's the cross street to that? I can't really see it. Wait a minute, repeat the address, ma'am. This kind of scenario isn't unusual. Many 911 call centers struggle to accurately locate callers on their cell phones. Location, please. But about 80% of calls made to 911 are made on cell phones, according to a trade group. In 2018, regulators estimated that up to 10,000 lives could be saved annually if 911 got to callers just one minute faster. These problems locating 911 callers are so prevalent that in 2015, the FCC stepped in and ordered cell carriers to fix some of the biggest location issues over the next couple of years. Some of these plans have already started to roll out, but let's look at why this is technically much trickier than it might seem. First, let's look at a county that hasn't yet adopted any of these fixes. This is Todd County in Minnesota. They say they don't have enough resources for new technology for their call center, which is common in rural counties. Here, carriers triangulate data among cell towers and send that information to 911 call centers. This can cause problems in rural areas where towers are sparse. This county's 911 call center also relies on smartphone GPS chips, which use satellites and can take up to 30 seconds to establish position. Together, these technologies can establish where the caller is within a radius of about 120 meters. That's more than the length of a football field. Part of the problem is that both of these technologies work best when callers are using their cell phones from outdoor locations. The majority of cell phone calls are made indoors, where these devices are less effective because rooftops interfere with signal. They also don't address altitude, meaning which floor of a building a caller is calling from. This is a bigger problem in large cities. We know, uh, you know, longitude and latitude where that is, but we don't know the vertical height exactly within the building. Where are you? And that can take precious minutes, precious seconds, where we want to come and save lives and render aid, and we're unable to because we don't have the exact location. So that's the problem. Now let's look at one of the ways it's being fixed. One of the FCC's demands requires that nationwide carriers improve their horizontal location accuracy to within 50 meters for 80% of 911 calls by 2021. That's an increase from only 40% of calls that were able to do that in 2017. With FCC deadlines approaching, tech companies and carriers are getting involved to help solve the problem. One startup, backed by three former FCC leaders, created a software called Rapid SOS to help fix the horizontal problem. Let's look at Collier County in Florida, which already uses Rapid SOS's software. When a caller dials 911 on a smartphone, Rapid SOS says location information from partners including Uber and Microsoft, and phone operating systems run by Google and Apple, is funneled through Rapid SOS and onto 911 dispatcher screens. These apps update their location automatically when phones pass by Wi-Fi hotspots, making the information much more accurate. Dispatchers can then look at two screens, one with Rapid SOS and the other with the original system. So obviously Google, Apple, Uber, these other leading technology companies are really good at locating us. The challenge historically has been is getting that information into the hands of 911 and first respond. One test by Google found that Rapid SOS reduced the average radius in which a caller may be located to about 36 meters, about a third of a football field. So now counties like Collier County, Florida can get a much more accurate location coming through this system, leveraging all the different sensors and a caller's phone. Rapid SOS has already been deployed in more than a third of the 5,700 911 call centers nationwide. That covers over 60% of Americans. Rapid SOS is just one of many companies that's come up with a potential solution. Others include Google's Android Emergency Location Services and Motorola's Solutions Callworks. But these technologies aren't a blanket fix. For now, the software can only locate callers along horizontal lines, meaning they can't send dispatchers data about where callers are located from a height perspective. This is especially problematic for people living in cities. The FCC is also requiring cell phone carriers to provide the vertical location in the 25 largest metropolitan areas by 2021, and in the 50 largest by 2023. Because of this, technology companies like Polaris Wireless have started to detect where a caller is located vertically. Let's look at Willis Tower, Chicago's tallest freestanding building. It's 108 stories. Today, when a responder goes there, they don't know whether the, the caller is on the first floor or the 108th floor. 
with our solution, we can say you're on the, your altitude comes to the 76th floor and first responders would know it's the 75th, 76th or 77th. They don't have to climb 108 floors looking for the caller. Smartphones today uh, have a barometer inside. That sensor can help us determine the altitude of the device. And based on the altitude of that device, we can extrapolate how, how many floors you're above ground. While Polaris Wireless hasn't been deployed in any call centers yet, early tests have found that they can locate a caller within 2.8 meters, 80% of the time. This would represent a big step forward for 911 accuracy. While companies race to solve this problem, how fast 911 can find you still depends a lot on where you live, which carrier you have, and what technology your local 911 center has embraced.